Hey guys, welcome to Old Smoke and Steve's. Today we got a good one for you, and I'm glad you stopped by and uh, check out, see what Old Smoke and Steve's up to. Uh, today we're going to be doing a pork tenderloin, and we're going to be putting it in the air fryer on the rotisserie. Uh, now that pork tenderloin comes in half, so we're going to be uh, tying it up and uh, putting it on the rotisserie, and uh, we're going to be showing you how we do it here. I know smoking Steve's. Okay, let's see if we can get this baby tied up. As you can see, it's cut in half, and uh, we need to tie it up, try to cinch that guy up so we can uh, put it on the rotisserie. We want to start out uh, with a simple knot here. I like to go through here two or three times, pull it tight, and then another knot on top of that to uh, get it nice and tight so it doesn't slip on us. Set that up, pull it tight. And then what we want to do is uh, grab the uh, string there and make a little loop, like so. And we're going to put it on the end of the meat here. Slide it up uh, a couple inches away from uh, our original cinch. So we're going to snug that up a little bit, pull that tight. going to keep on doing that, making a little loop, and uh, just repeat each step until we get to the end, and uh, then we'll cinch it up, and uh, that'll be the end of tying it up. Okay, guys, got it all wrapped up here with the twine, and... Uh, I wanted to show you this. I just got this uh, Grillmates Sweet and Smoky uh, Rub. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna try it on this uh, pork tenderloin and see how it tastes. Uh, I'm just gonna put a thin coat on here, not knowing uh, how much flavor it's gonna have and stuff. I don't wanna put it on too awful thick. Just to Thin little coating, like so, until we find out if it's good or what it's going to be, and then maybe the next time we'll put a little more on there. Okay, coat him up evenly. Then we're going to be putting it on the rotisserie and uh, get that air fryer hooked up and uh, get that thing going and uh, we'll be cooking this baby up. Okay, we got it loaded up on the rotisserie here. Uh, the pork tenderloin one was a lot longer than the uh, shaft of this rotisserie, so we had to kind of scrunch it up. I'm gonna go ahead and get her in the uh, air fryer and get that thing fired up. Okay, guys. Got the uh, rotisserie in the air fryer here, and uh, looks like it's pretty close to the bottom here, so uh, we're gonna fire it up and see how it's gonna do. Okay, we're gonna select uh, 350 degrees. Well, let's hit the rotisserie button first. Okay, we got our turning. We got 350 set. And we're going to change the time to uh, let's go 35 minutes. And I'm not sure uh, how long it's going to take to actually uh, cook, uh, but we've got it set for 35 minutes. And I'm going to check the temperature during the cook um, every so often. And I'm shooting for like 145 degrees internal temperature of that uh, pork tenderloin. If we can get it at 145, it ought to be nice and juicy for us. So uh, let's check back on here in a little bit. Okay, here's what she's looking like. Uh, we got her rotating in there. And I did take another string and uh, tied it up in the uh, center a little bit tighter so it uh, wasn't dragging on the uh, bottom there. 
So uh, let's go ahead and let her cook. We're cooking at 350 and uh, it's showing about 29 minutes left. Uh, but we'll be checking the temperature of that meat and we're shooting for 145. We've only been into the uh, cook here about 10 minutes or so and it's already looking and smelling good so I can't hardly wait to taste this. So let's let her cook and I'll be checking that uh, meat temperature here in a few minutes. Okay, here she is. Just pulled it out of the air fryer. Uh, I started checking the temperature uh, after about 20 minutes or so and uh, and then I continued to check it every five minutes. And uh, I pulled it out with about uh, six minutes left out of the 35 minute uh, original time that we had set. And uh, it's done. 145 degrees. We're gonna let it rest here a little bit and then we'll be cutting that string off and cutting into it and doing the taste test. I can't hardly wait. Okay guys, it's been sitting here about 10 minutes resting. Got the string cut off, I'm gonna slice into it here and about the middle. See how she's looking. Wow, look at that. You see that? See them juices in there? Look at that. That's looking awesome. I'm gonna cut my little piece off and uh, give me a taste test and see how that rub is and uh, see how good it is. Okay, here's my favorite part. Got me a little piece right here. We're gonna go in and see what it's like. Nice. Nice and juicy, tender. That flavor from the rub, I really like that. It's good, it's not overpowering. I probably could use a little more rub. So I think next time uh, I'll coat that down even heavier. It's really good. Be sure to give this a try, guys. Uh, if you don't have a rotisserie, uh, you can just cook it on a shelf, 350, set it for 35 minutes or so and uh, check the temperature. Uh, pull it out of there at 145 degrees and it's gonna be delicious. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and share this video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.